Today, we will learn about what fractions are and how to read them. Without realizing, we use fractions several times in our daily life. As we say, half a kg of fruits, two-thirds of water, one-fourth chapati, etc. We also use fractions to represent time. For example, half, quarter to, quarter past, etc. Let's understand what fractions are. Today is Manav's birthday. He has invited Tina, Babita, Rahul and Dinesh to his house. There is one whole cake, but it has to be shared among five friends. Can you tell me how many pieces the cake should be divided into so that everyone gets a piece? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. The cake has to be divided into five pieces. This is one way of dividing the cake into five pieces. But this is not the correct way. By doing so, all the children will not get equal parts. What can be done to solve this problem? Yes, you're right. All parts of the cake should be equal. Therefore, the whole cake should be divided into five equal parts. After distribution, Manav kept one piece aside. As it is one of the five equal parts, it can be represented like this and read as one by five or one fifth. A number which represents the part of a whole is called a fraction. If we keep one more piece on the plate, then the number of pieces becomes two. Since there are two pieces out of five, these two parts form the fraction two-fifth of the whole cake. When we talk about any fraction, for example, two-fifth here, then the line separating two numbers is called division line or by. Can you tell what does the number written below the division line represent? Think for a while. You've got it right. This represents the number of equal parts the whole is divided into. The number of equal parts to which a whole is divided into is called the denominator. The number of parts that are taken aside is represented above the division bar. Therefore, the number of parts that has been considered from all equal parts is called the numerator. In a fraction, the numerator is written above the division bar and the denominator is written below. It is not always necessary that a fraction represents a part of the whole thing. We can also use it for representing a part of a group. See here. There are four apples and three oranges. Therefore, the total number of fruits here is 7. If we have to find the fraction of apples in the total number of fruits, then how do we do it? Let me explain. Since the total number of fruits is 7, the denominator is 7. And we are considering 4 apples of them, therefore the numerator is 4. Thus, the fraction of apples among this group of fruits is 4 by 7. Similarly, can you find the fraction of oranges in this group? You've got it right. Here, there are three oranges among the group of seven fruits. Therefore, the fraction for oranges here is 3 by 7. Let us see some fractions. This is 1 by 2 or 1 half. This is 1 by 3 or 1 third. This is 2 by 3 or 2 third. This is 1 by 4 or 1 fourth. This is 2 by 4 or 2 fourth. This is 3 by 4 or 3 fourth. This is 1 by 5 or 1 fifth. This is 2 by 5 or 2 fifth. This is 3 by 5 or 3 fifth. This is 4 by 5 or 4 fifth. I hope you have understood the concept of fractions. Today, we have learnt about what fractions are and how to read them. In the next video, we will see some examples of fractions.